Hi, I'm Haley Hartwick, and I'm part of the Communication Technologies course taught by Dr. Kenneth Day. My project was to create a visual brand for a local place that didn't have a website. Um, I actually contacted Gourmet Burrito, located, located on Miracle Mile. It's at 2535 Pacific Avenue in Stockton, California. They are a Mexican food restaurant, and they specialize in a custom burrito. In fact, you can customize it so much that you can actually select what kind of oil you would like your food cooked in. So, this being such a neat place, I decided to make a website for it using Dreamweaver. I created the banner using Photoshop, um, and I originally was going to use that, but I decided to use a photo of the location of Gourmet Burrito. So this photo was also used on a Facebook and a Twitter account, and all three of these ended up being linked together so for ease of use for the customer. Um, the website actually includes a home page, it includes a menu, a contact page, and a location. Um, this is so that people who would like to get a burrito can find out all the different kinds of burrito that Gourmet Burrito can make for them. Um, including breakfast, lunch, and dinner burritos. They also have a entree special, um, they have a kids menu, and they have a variety of beverages. The owner or the manager is named Roberto and he is a very nice man. Um, he was kind enough to accept my offer and actually turned down a couple of other students who had approached him to use me. So I really appreciate that. The website will be used for ease of use for the client um, to get better exposure for Gourmet Burrito. Um, and it, since it's, lo it's linked with the Facebook and the Twitter account, um, the Facebook can be used to send the customer to the website. Now the Facebook account also has the contact number and the link to the two other accounts, but it can be used to get into really the social media of the students in this area. I have sent out invites to all of my friends at Pacific and from there I know that there are quite a few people that really like Gourmet Burrito so I think we can spread the word about it from there. Um, the Facebook can be used to post about events like specials. Um, I know they're working on their Chili Relleno right now. The Chili Relleno Burrito of course. Um, so we can post about stuff like that. It can also be used as just a reminder, talking about how delicious the food is, maybe posting a picture, so that people that are hungry and don't really know what they want can look at that picture and say, I know what I want, and now I know exactly how to get to it. The Twitter can also be used like that. Um, you can, you're limited a little bit because of the short message that you can use, but because of a link shortener like Biddy or something similar, you can actually link it to um, the website or the Facebook or we could even create like a WordPress blog for the restaurant and really talk about what kind of food they have and how, how they make it and why it's such a great place to go. All three of these have been made to look similar. Um, this is part of the branding for Gourmet Burrito. I know that previously they'd really tried to use the mustache for gourmet, but um, their color scheme of the green and red, I really tried to incorporate. Um, and they all have the same picture so that it's a really recognizable uh, sign for gourmet burrito. The contact information is on all of the pages. Um, this way that people can call and find out the hours if they somehow haven't found the website already. Um, the website should be tagged enough so that it should pop up whenever people look for Mexican food in Stockton, California, um, and especially a burrito. I would like to see the media used further. Um, I know that I've put quite a bit of information on all of them, and I really hope that they enjoy it. So this pretty much concludes my project. It's been a great year, and I hope that Gourmet Burrito likes their product. Thank you.